Ja, die Stärke, gell? Ja. Die Stärke. Ja. As you know, I'm going to lose my voice completely. Now it's sort of a good idea to record my voice so you remember what I sound like. about Malcolm's illness when he was having problems swallowing food and went to the doctor and the doctor felt that it was probably reflux um, and gave him medication to treat that and after a while Malcolm said it's not that I know it's not that so I said to him we'll go back to the doctor when he went back to the doctor he saw another doctor and it was a lady doctor and she said, um, I can see something behind your tonsils. I want to send you to see a consultant at Worthing Hospital. And then they discovered that it was cancer. When Malcolm went into hospital, I, I took him into hospital. When I left, I thought, God, that is so awful that tomorrow he's not going to have a voice box. long operation, ten and a half hours, and the trachea or my windpipe was diverted to this hole in my neck, so none of the bre my breathing is done through my mouth or my nose, it is all done via this hole which is called a stoma in my neck. Um, I didn't go and visit, visit him the next day because he didn't want any visitors the next day. But I went in the day after that and I went to um, high dependency ward and he was all latched up to wires and machines. and um, But he was okay. In May, he had a voice valve fitted, which meant that he could speak. Um, sometimes it's, well it is very hard work for him. He has to learn to draw air from his lungs up through the valve and to make words, to form words. This object in my neck is called an HME. HME stands for heat moisture, exchange, and it works like your nose normally works. Get it? It's cold air, so you get a cold air going into your lungs. And it also extracts moisture, but it also allows a certain amount of moisture to, to come in so to your throat lungs are not dry out. You're getting at the smoking thing. 
my family believe that the initial cause was through my smoking. And although I stopped 30, 40 years ago, my consultant said, no, it's nothing to do with smoking, but I believe it was. And of course, I regret they haven't smoked. There again, the foolishness of being young. It's been difficult. Well, it's been, it's certainly not been easy. actually getting there. As I say, because it's going to be there for the rest of my life. I've got to. But it is a bit of a bind with you. Every morning, you have to get up, spend an hour to an hour and a half on the nebulizer, such a machine, cleaning the stoma, replacing everything, cleaning the voice valve. Before you can have your breakfast, I have a shower. One of the things that has been a great help to me. So when I realised I couldn't speak, my big has it was texting over a mobile phone. The amount of texts I had from people who I hadn't seen but I know who cared for me. It's been wonderful. And it's been my mainstay, and it still is, of communicating with people. Because I still can't talk on the telephone to any great extent. So, thank heavens for Nokia and Orange. They've been brilliant. You ask what advantages there are. There's only one real advantage. That's an I'm not dead. Which is the alternative? So, having the operation, as far as I'm concerned, it's a lifesaver. So, it's helped me get through my treatment and my recovery. Mainly ten people, nine people, my family. My wife especially, she's been an absolute star. I couldn't manage without her. She's been absolutely brilliant. Back to my daughters, back to my son in general, and my four grandchildren have been absolutely wonderful. I wouldn't have got through it without them. Any of them. visit that we've made to the hospital and we've had regular, he's had regular check-ups. Um, I told him how well he's done and, um, well, he has done very well, yeah. When you realise life can be very precarious, you need to live it every day. Generally though, I live life positively. I see this as a new adventure. And I sometimes wonder if I can keep it going because it's an adventure that will never end. Because I've 
got this for the rest of my life.